The Apple Watch Series 8 may very well be on its way to being knocked out of the ring by solid competition. But it will not go down without a fight. Not while it has a say, especially in developing technology for a feature as on-demand as the blood sugar sensor. What do these two devices have in common or differentiate it? Let's find out in this Apple Watch Series 8 vs Garmin blood sugar sensor comparison. Undoubtedly, Apple and Garmin's smart wearable platforms are, respectively, two of the most health-oriented ones now available. You will be able to monitor a diverse range of activity profiles and metrics, regardless of the device you decide to use. All of the most recent models of Apple Watches and Garmin watches have the capability to monitor a user's active and resting calories burned, resting and active heart rate, the infamous step count, distance travel, floors climbed in elevation, sleep, and stress levels. The upcoming Apple Watch Series 8 and Garmin's new watches will also have these plus new features, such as the blood sugar sensor. But that's now all these two will have in common, and we'll delve more into that in just a bit. The Apple Watch is primarily a smartwatch and only secondarily a fitness device. However, there is a significant draw associated with Apple Watches, they are only compatible with Apple's iPhone line of products. So that is fantastic news if you already own and use an iPhone. Otherwise, Garmin is the only option available if you currently use Android and have no plans to migrate to iOS. Now, according to MacRumor's latest report, a new tip claiming to have come from industry sources suggests that the Apple Watch Series 8 could include a blood glucose monitoring capability. The feature was reported to be coming to the Apple Watch Series 7, but it was never released. Nevertheless, insiders within the industry are now stating that it could be coming to the Apple Watch Series 8 instead. Now, no matter what you say, anything that eradicates an encounter with syringes is great news, so we are definitely looking forward to that. At this time, persons with diabetes or any other condition related to blood sugar are required to monitor their blood glucose levels by drawing a blood sample and analyzing the results with the necessary gadget designed for such medical use. However, Apple aims to collect these readings non-invasive, so users won't need to have their fingers pricked or give a blood sample for the company to get an accurate readout. At the beginning of this year, Apple applied for a patent explaining how a non-invasive blood glucose monitoring device integrated into the Apple Watch might function. Apple intends to employ absorption spectroscopy to collect non-invasive glucose readings according to the patent application. It will use terahertz electromagnetic radiation rather than light sent through the user's body to detect it. Garmin Connect, the companion app Garmin uses, to provide services for its fitness and health ecosystem, is also looking to have a new function that will allow users to track their blood glucose readings. Although it is difficult to predict how this would operate at this point, Garmin launched support for glucose monitoring apps for persons who have diabetes in the previous year. The ability to synchronize data from the Super Sapiens mobile app with Garmin Connect was made available by Garmin in May of 2021. On the other hand, Apple seems to have a more competitive modification to counter Garmin's approach, and we will get to it in a bit. Please subscribe to our channel for exclusive access to more updates and unique perspectives on the latest devices. Now the Super Sapiens app is compatible with the Avid Libra Sense device, which is a continuous glucose monitor. This monitor analyzes the glucose concentration in the fluid surrounding the cells in your body, also called the interstitial fluid. This is done by inserting a small probe under the skin surface. It is important to note that the levels of glucose in the interstitial fluid are not precisely the same as in the blood. However, they are a helpful guide that can help you evaluate the impact of various energy sources and tactics and observe how well you are recuperating after an exercise. Additionally, in October, Garmin released an app that enables people with diabetes to display data from a Dexcom continuous blood glucose monitor right on their wrist, even when they are engaged in physical activity. After the latest update to Garmin Connect, it is possible that the data from these two sensors will be fully embedded in your dashboard and viewed together with your other health and well-being stats. 
This would make it simple to monitor how factors related to one's lifestyle and the amount of exercise one gets affect blood glucose levels. With iOS 15, the health app on iPhones featured blood glucose as a health metric. However, for the iPhone to include this data in health, external devices must first provide it to the iPhone. This will be different if the Apple Watch Series 8 is the very device that does the measurement and syncs the data with the health app on the iPhone. It is pretty doubtful that we will see a Garmin watch capable of taking blood glucose levels on its own anytime soon. Continuous glucose monitors, such as those produced by Dexcom and Abbott, are already widely available, but the development of non-invasive glucose monitoring methods is still in its infancy. Now, while there are indications that even the most advanced Garmin watches won't likely have access to this technology for a good number of years, a recent disclosure from an Apple partner indicates that non-invasive blood glucose testing technology would be available for the Apple Watch Series 8 in the first quarter of 2023. However, it is safest to keep expectations low until it is officially announced. And so, in the meantime, we can only keep our fingers crossed and wait in anticipation for all these two companies have in store for their users. You can check out this video we made on three reasons to consider Apple Watch Series 8 price. For more information on what the Apple Watch Series 8 is coming up with, until then, take care.